Phil Cohen here. Cohen, I'm content at the DSC, and I'm in the barracks booth. Ronnie Guggenheim. How are you, Ronnie? It's nice to see Thank you. Thank you. Certainly I'm enjoying our time here. Absolutely. I saw digital signage audio. Why? What is this? Explain it to me. Well, the big challenge we have in the digital signage industry is that all the screens are actually switched off in terms of audio. The content has been adapted to run without the Not sound. Mine. All Not of your... my programming plays with full motion audio video. Right. Thousands of waiting rooms. Right. But imagine in your scenario where you have people waiting in the doctor's room, um, you actually could have several screens in there. Okay? The sound is perceived as pollution in many instances. That's true. Right? It's, it's bothersome. I just had a customer this morning here and said, oh, I just got a call from my, uh, from my shop uh, that everybody has switched off the sound, even though they were not supposed to, because it's bothersome. So what we do is actually, we enable the screen with the voice. We add the voice, but we don't do it as a pollution, as a public voice. We do it through the smartphone of the individual person. So what she's saying right here, Somebody sitting in the audience is actually listening on their phone. Right. They're not listening out here from the, from the screen, from the speaker. Right. It's your private, your personal decision that you want to hear it. Let's say this scenario, we have um, two different screens. I have my smartphone here. I have a list of channels. And just by selecting channel two, I'm listening now to the sound, um, to the sound of screen number two. Now, what is really important here, it's real time. It has to be lip sync. Okay, you have to see the lips and not recognizing that there is a delay. It's going on the speakers. So now it's noise pollution when it's on with the Now I polluted you. <laughs> I'm devil's advocate on this. One, one of the things that we pitch to advertisers is that we're full motion audio and video. So everybody in the audience is going to hear. Um, if they choose to, they can also see if they're not doing something else, which, you know, we have the Arbitrons come back to report what they saw and what they recalled. Um, that's what the advertiser is paying for. So if nobody opts in on the audio, even though the screen reports that it played the, the, the commercial, how do I report back to the advertiser that the audio was played? Well, first of all, um, you open up actually the access to the main screen. This is the main screen of today. Okay. It's not this one. This is a trigger screen. Now, the moment I have a real motivation to get onto the smartphone... I argue with you again. You walk into my doctor's office and the first thing you're going to see is a sign that says, please turn off your phone. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's no longer the main screen in that location. I have no arguments about uh, your specific case, but imagine that you sit in a sports bar. Yes. You're okay. Right. Yep. You have like 40 screens all playing different content oh, and channels. Absolutely. Right. Uh, without sound. And I'm watching one game and I can't hear it. Exactly. Now, the atmosphere, it's all about sound. Right? Imagine you sit in a casino in a um, bookmaker. Oh, I'm still back in the sports bar. Right? I think it's brilliant. Yep. That would be great. So I could take my smartphone. Over here is the Yankee game. Right. There's 30 different ball games going on. I want to listen to the Yankee game on my phone, so I do whatever I have to do, and I've got that one game in my ear. Correct. And now comes back to the advertising. Now I'm in the screen. Now exactly. I'm on here. Now okay. I can send um, a, a spontaneous coupon that the beer is half off in the next half hour if there is a score. This is exciting. Is all of this information on your website? Uh, yes, it is. It's available on uh, Paris. Is it in English? It's in English, of course, <laughs> <laughs> and in German. <laughs> no, that's exciting stuff with you when I pictured that application. Um, we're going to put up the lower third that shows your web information. Mm -hmm. right. And you know what? Give me your card so that Adam or Jason can put your email information on there, too. Cool. Yeah. It is cool, right? It is cool. It really, really is cool. <laughs> Yeah, no, there's it's, a it's, lot of applications. The resonance has been fantastic. Very, very All right, we'll see you in a few minutes. Ronnie and I are going to talk it, Now no it's more. intimate, you know. <laughs> cool.